everybody. Hey, Queen, guess what? What, Cadence? Do you know what we're going to learn about today? No clue what? Something explosive. Explosive? Yeah. Volcanoes! Whoa! A volcano is an opening, usually in a mountain, in the Earth's surface. When a volcano is active, it can let ash, gas, and hot magma escape in sometimes violent and explosive eruptions. Are you wondering what magma is? Magma is the name for melted rock mixed up with gas or even gas bubbles inside a volcano. To make it more simple to understand, magma is the name given to hot liquid rock inside a volcano. Have you ever heard the word lava? Well, lava is the name for when magma breaks through the Earth's surface. Lava can reach an amazing 2,282 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,250 degrees Celsius and can burn everything in its path. If you use a glass thermometer to try to take its temperature, the thermometer would actually melt. Hey, guess what? Volcanoes usually are located where the tectonic plates meet. The Pacific Ring of Fire, an area around the Pacific Ocean, is where over 75% of the volcanoes on Earth are found. Have you ever watched water or liquid simmering on a stove? Normally, you'll see steam rise, and once you put a lid on it, it will actually boil over and can spill out. And if you turn the heat down, the heat from the water and steam drops too. This is how tectonic plates work. When these tectonic plates move and crash against each other, the one that slides underneath is pushed down and magma squeezes up between them and rises to the surface of the earth. This then makes bubbles of gas which can cause pressure to build up and eventually explode. While most volcanoes form near tectonic boundaries, sometimes they also form in areas that have an abnormally hot rock inside the earth. These are known as mantle plumes. Hey, guess what? These hot spots are found at a number of locations around the world. The most popular one is in Hawaii. When tectonic plates are being pushed apart, it begins to create openings in the Earth's crust. This allows molten rock to escape, forming volcanoes. And most volcanoes have a volcanic crater at the top, and this is where they can let out these eruptions, as well as steam and gases. But when there is enough pressure, the volcano erupts, and some volcanic eruptions blow off the top of the volcano. The magma comes out, and sometimes quickly, and sometimes slowly. Volcanoes can produce different types of lava. Some is runny and flows down a slope. It has a smooth, ropey, wrinkled texture. This is called bahoe hoe lava. Some volcanoes can be more explosive and produce hot gases and much thicker, rough, textured lava that is sticky. This is called aa lava. Lava that erupts underwater is called pillow lava because it forms shapes like pillows. However, it becomes very hard and it would be very uncomfortable to sleep on. Volcanoes can be active, regular active, or extinct. Active volcanoes mean that it's a volcano that has recently erupted and there is a chance it might soon. A dormant volcano means that it hasn't erupted in a long time. But this doesn't mean that it won't. It could erupt in the future. And extinct volcanoes mean that these volcanoes erupted thousands of years ago and it's never going to erupt again. Hey, guess what? 350 million people, or one in 20 people, live within danger range of an active volcano. Hey, guess what? Did you know that there are actually many different types of volcanoes? Shield volcanoes, shrattle volcanoes, and cinder cone volcanoes. Shield volcanoes have thin lava that can flow far away, creating wide, flat slopes miles away from the volcano. Some of the world's largest volcanoes are shield volcanoes. Even though their sides are not very steep, shield volcanoes can be huge. Mauna Kea in Hawaii is the biggest mountain on Earth if you measured it from its base, from the ocean floor. Stratovolcanoes are made up of different kinds of lava, and when they erupt, they throw ash and rock high into the sky. Two famous stratovolcanoes are Japan's Mount Fuji and Mount Vesuvius. About 16,000 people from a city called Pompeii in Italy 
were killed in 79 AD by an erupting volcano named Mount Vesuvius, only one day after their religious festival to Vulcan. The city stayed buried under ash for almost 2,000 years until archaeologists, who are people that learn about ancient things, discovered it. And last, we have cinder cone volcanoes. These are the smallest type of volcanoes. They are rarely more than 1,000 feet tall. Cinder cone volcanoes often form on the surface of larger volcanoes, creating a very active surface. They usually do not erupt for very long. But most recently, volcanic eruptions can have a big effect on modern life. In 2011, a volcano called Pujia Cordon Cal in Chile erupted. It was the biggest eruption so far in the 21st century and caused huge disruptions to flights across the southern hemisphere. Hey, guess what? Some people make their homes on the side of volcanoes because they want the rich, fertile soil. But I think that seems a bit too dangerous. Ever want to know how many volcanoes have actually erupted? There are about 1,500 volcanoes that have erupted in the last 10,000 years. Hey, guess what? Volcanoes don't just occur on land. They can also be found on the ocean floor or under ice caps as well. Most of the active volcanoes are deep under the ocean where it's impossible to count, so it's very difficult to really know how many volcanoes there really are in the world. There have been many guesses, but it's estimated that if you include the volcanoes under the ocean, there could have been more than 6,000 volcanoes that have erupted in the world in just the past 10,000 years. Want to know some of the biggest volcanoes? We have some very big volcanoes in the world. Volcanoes like Tamu Massif, which is located at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, and Hawaii's Moana Loa Volcano, which is over five and a half miles tall, or nine kilometers high. The tallest volcano on Earth is Mauna Kea in Hawaii. It stands at almost 14,000 feet. There aren't just volcanoes on Earth. In fact, the tallest volcano in our solar system is actually on Mars. Olympus Mons is a giant shield volcano that is currently 18 miles tall and almost 342 miles across. That is a lot of really interesting information about volcanoes, and we really hope you enjoyed it. Hey, did you like this video? Hey, did you learn something new? And don't forget to sub and smash that like button. And, and we'll see you on the next Hey Guess What?